Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Floor Planner. My name is Bob, and as I always say, I'm here for customer success. I'm here for you all to support you all and give you some new information. Um, we have some new features that came out for the month of March 2023. We have two new features we're going to take a look at today. So let's remind you as to where to find those new advances as they're being posted for you on your floor planner dashboard um, as you are on mine right now and in the upper left hand corner four squares up there that is your profile tab if we go ahead and select that when you select your profile tab you gain the right hand sidebar and on the right hand sidebar there is one tab inside there that says new features and if you hit the more button over there on the right hand side of new features right there at the top opens this new window which you can scroll through and go back to previous advances and updates that have occurred over the months. Um, we left off last time with our recording back there in February um, with some of the new changes and uh, advances that were made for style boards to be uh, more in control of your actual images that you're inserting in Styleboard. Uh, a new feature in there for skewing the actual way you're seeing those images. But we're gonna talk about two new features for the month of March. We're going to address the custom products list. Really awesome working within our designs that you can actually download um, a spreadsheet of well, as you've been able to in the past to go ahead and actually download a list of the items that are in and closed inside your model based on that design but now you have filters that you can actually um, narrow down exactly what you want to communicate in this document so we'll take a peek at those for sure and also something fun um, surfaces you know certainly drafting out surfaces for identifying spaces um, it could be landscape spaces, it could be garden paver spaces, it could be driveways. Um, anytime you're identifying a surface, I believe the quest came out to say could we identify it a little more clearly in the 2D view. You now have an option in there with your surfaces to go ahead and actually showcase them with a dotted line to bring attention to them. So let's go to the custom product list first. So we'll go back to my floor planner account for a second. And let's go ahead and open up one of my projects. Um, something that's a little bit more complicated. Let's open up this project right here. So this is one of my test projects that I've been working with. And there's a lot of furnishings and accessories in here. I traced, it, traced a background in here. So there's a lot of items contained inside the space. So with that being said, if you wanted a list of those items, as we've been able to in the past, it's all based on the design tab itself. So in the upper left-hand corner, of course, this needs to be, um, if you're doing multiple designs, it needs to certainly be a standard definition or higher project, SDHD 4K 8K, um, for the multiple designs tab to be functioning. But if you go to multiple designs in the upper left-hand corner, just select which design, if you've created multiple designs for the project, which design you want to have activated. I'm going to just look at the one that's called Bob Test at this moment. And in that design, Bob test one of my six designs, you can go down here and take a look at the items in the design. Again, this is nothing new to you. This is, you know, has been standard in floor planner. But if you go into the items in design, you can see that there they all are. We could drag these in and duplicate them in other rooms. It's a great source to see everything that's contained, including the materials and finishes inside this one design. Well, the download product list, again, has always been there, but now if you hit the download product list, you go to another window. It's not just gonna download. We can actually start filtering what is going to be in that list. So you have the option over here, certainly to go ahead and say, maybe, maybe I don't wanna show the products. Maybe I don't wanna show the lights. Maybe I don't wanna show the colors, um, or I wanna see everything that's in that design with the all button up at the top. And there's also the brands that are contained inside this document. Maybe there's certain brands you don't want to be showcasing for some reason. 
one thing I found really fascinating about this spreadsheet that's going to be created also is over here on the right hand side, we can go ahead and actually change the quantities for the spreadsheet. Maybe for some reason you needed you know, four items versus three items that are shown in the model. So you're actually making more of a shopping list at this point um, to be utilized um, in other integration with your company. So really cool that you have all this control. There's also, if there's the ability to view that item for the view store button, for the additional information to go to their website for that particular product, you can do so. But again, total control in here to customize what the product list is actually going to be. And when this is completed, you simply hit the download product list based on the uh, filters that you've turned on or turned off or the quantities that you've changed. And then sure enough, the CSV file is being created down here, which certainly opens up in Excel spreadsheets if you care to. And it's um, columns and rows. So all this data is available to you um, as you've customized that list. Really, really powerful information for sure. Let's take also a look at that second advance that came out a little simpler. Let's go back to my dashboard and we'll just open up a simple project out here, simple SD project. And let's say we're building a patio outside this room. This is where we're gonna talk about surfaces. So if we go over here to the draw surface command, we'll go ahead and create a new surface. Surfaces, if you've not made surfaces before, uh, it's tracing out a flat surface, typically for grass or pavers or driveways, a nice planar surface, paper thin on the ground down at zero elevation. So we can start tracing it by left clicking one point and you can see that I'm starting to trace to my second point. And when you actually go to your third point, you'll start noticing that the volume itself is showing in 2D. And again, we're just making a patio and I'll go across the way and complete that patio as a nice rectangle. And I'm in the middle of the command still for creating the surface. And you can hit your escape key like with any other function to stop the command that we're working in. I'll hit the escape key. And there we've got a surface. Now the surface itself, you certainly can go ahead and recolorize it. We can go in here to paints and find paint ranges and colorize this. You know, maybe I just make it pale blue for some reason, just to say it's identified, but maybe that's not enough. And you really want this to be dynamic. So it showcase for some reason, the surface area that you're trying to communicate something special about it. So now we've added um, this ability to outline it in dots. So if I left click on the surface itself to select it, and over here on the left hand side for that surface, of course, the settings tool, every time you see a gear inside Floor Planner, it takes you to additional power tools in Floor Planner. Go to the settings of the surface, and sure enough, you've got something new dotted line outline has been added over here. If you go ahead and select that, just check that box. Ta -da! You now have a much more defined area that you want to bring attention to for whatever purposes. So uh, fun, something new and exciting for sure. Um, that's it for the month of March. Um, short list, um, but definitely please do take a look at the ability to now customize your product list. I think that's gonna be really advantageous um, as you maybe find opportunities to link into that spreadsheet for other purposes, um, possibly even your ordering software uh, as you're trying to integrate uh, this information out of Floor Planner into other systems that work uh, currently with your business. Anyway. That's it for today. Appreciate your time as always. Looking forward to our next video and new advances and updates that will be coming uh, forward in this month of April. So appreciate your time. Uh, look, forward to see, look forward to seeing also at uh, future live webinars. Don't forget we have those on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and four o'clock in the afternoons Eastern Standard Time here in the USA. They are all free. So feel free to go ahead and register for those. Of course, they are on your homepage, back on your dashboard.
And then you hit that same profile tab we talked about upper right hand corner is the marquee that rotates for those registrations. Again, appreciate your time today and look forward to seeing you at our next webinar. Take care.